Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I'm going to do a second single seed challenge. One of the beautiful aspects of the single seed challenge that I really uh, intended when we started this, but didn't anticipate that it would grow so big, is the community aspect. The fact that you use the hashtag single seed challenge 2022 or whatever year it is. Um, it's really drawn a lot of gardening channels together. It's introduced me to a lot of new gardeners, a lot of old gardeners who didn't have a channel but started one, and a lot of gardening channels that were established that took part in a challenge that uh, I didn't know about. So the community aspect has been really wonderful. Um, some YouTubers began their YouTube gardening channel because of the single seed challenge. Arkansas Woodcutter, uh, John at Will It Grow, uh, both those fellas started their YouTube channel because of the Single Seed Challenge, and several others of you have told me that you did the same. And that makes me feel really, really good. You know, uh, if you have a YouTube account, you actually do possess a YouTube channel. All you have to do is start using it and uploading videos. So if you'd like to participate in the Single Seed Challenge, and you've never done videos before, I encourage you, give it a shot. Just use your phone. Make a video, upload it to YouTube, and use the hashtag Single Seed Challenge 2022. And you can join the rest of the gardening world that's participating. And so far, man, if you click on that, on that hashtag, we've got a lot of people participating this year. And um, all over the world. So it's a great way to get introduced to other gardeners. Last year, I sent John at Will It Grow a Single Seed Challenge seed for him to grow. Um, I've sent him a purple Coronas bean. He grew it and it grew well. This year, John has sent me a seed to grow for the single seed challenge. This hot Portugal pepper. It's a chili pepper and it's in his own packaging. Look at that. John up there at Will It Grow. John is a professional oyster farmer and a gardener and um, I really enjoy his channel. He is also, I believe, the originator of the Shed Wars community. Uh, I'm not a part of the Shed Wars community. I, I haven't had time to get involved in that, but the Shed Wars community is a, actually a, a, a great gardening community of folks that uh, that uh, compete against each other and kind of bust each other up a bit and have some fun. Uh, the Shed Wars community, uh, go check that out as well. But John up there in, in Massachusetts, uh, he and I probably have the most different gardening contexts of a lot of the channels that I follow. He's up there in Massachusetts. He's under like two feet of snow today. Um, he's got to deal with that kind of weather. Down here, you know, snow is very rare. I garden year round. We get hurricanes and, and hot weather in the summer. So uh, our contexts are a lot different, but we share a lot of uh, the same kind of uh, gardening advice and gardening experience. and. Well, you know, if you're a gardener, your experience is, is uh, uh, quite the same as most other gardeners, and you can glean uh, expertise, advice, tips, growing expertise uh, from just about anyone. Um, so, yeah, John sent me these seeds, and I'm going to do a second single seed challenge. Uh, technically speaking, it's my third attempt. Uh, my original single seed challenge, the fish pepper, uh, which is a seed that I received from Rachel Andor for yet another gardening channel. Um, that fish pepper, the first seed didn't come up, so I started another one, and I shared that with you in another video. But I'm going to start one of these seeds today. I'm going to do another single seed challenge, and I might do a few more. The thing about the single seed challenge is you can do as many seeds as you want. You can do as many individual seeds that uh, that you like, and uh, yeah, there, there's there's no rules on on having to do just one. You can do a number of them. So I'm going to select one of these seeds here. And I think I'm going to take out of this batch here just a good-looking seed. There we go. One seed. If you don't know about the Single Seed Challenge, I encourage you to watch my video that explains the whole purpose. I'll link it right up there. There's no challenge to other gardeners in this Single Seed Challenge uh, unless you want to make it that way like John did. John has uh, challenged the Single Seed Challenge. And you can go watch his video on that, and uh, you can send him a seed for him to grow and see if he can grow the seed that you select. And I will be sending him a seed, uh, a muskmelon. A, uh, oh, I forget the variety, but it's a muskmelon. I'll see if he can grow that up there in Massachusetts. But uh, yeah, the single seed challenge is just a way to appreciate the beauty of a single seed and the potential that's stored up in that. 
Because normally we look at our, our seeds and our crops and our, and our gardens in terms of a whole mass of things, right? I look at my daikon radishes back there as, well, that's my daikon crop. I don't pay attention to any single plant in there, uh, not normally. Uh, my carrots, just a mass of carrots. But if you can grow a single seed in a little pot like this and then pot it up or put it in your garden somewhere where it's the only one of that variety that you have growing, uh, then you're, you're more prone to appreciate the beauty of a plant and the growth cycle. And you're more prone to nurture that plant, to care for it, to tend it, and to be very careful with bringing it up because, well, that's the only one you've got. It's the only one of that variety you have. And so that's what the single seed challenge is all about. It's a challenge to ourselves to slow down and to appreciate the beauty of plant life and to grow up a single seed to fruition. Let's get this one planted. Once again, I'm going to use just some potting soil here. Normally I'd use seed starting mix, but this plant's gonna live in this pot for a little longer. So on the bottom, I'm gonna put some potting mix that has some nutrition in it. And then on the top, I'm gonna to use some seed starting mix that's specifically made for starting seeds. And you know what? I put the wrong one in there. I wanted the other stuff. I want some stuff that's already pre-moistened. I find it a little bit difficult to moisten seed starting mix in the pot. It's better to moisten it, pre-moisten it. There we go. All right, so now we have our pot here with pre-moistened potting uh, seed starting mix on top of some potting soil in the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and put our seed in here. All right, we'll make a little depression, just a little one. There's our seed. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, let's pick it up here. See, I, see if I can get it without dropping it. All right, so there's our soil. There's our seed down in there. We're gonna cover it up about a one eighth to a quarter of an inch deep. That's how you grow most pepper seeds. What we're gonna do now is water it in really well put my label on it that's my second single seed challenge see if we can get ourselves to grow a hot Portugal chili pepper I'm interested in that I love peppers I've got a lot of peppers growing already but you can never have enough all right same procedure as before I'm gonna water this in real well I want that seed to be in good contact with the soil this is rainwater from my rain barrel and I'm just going to put a bit of it in there to speed things up and you can feel the weight and you know how much water you need just kind of by weight you get used to figuring out how much water you need so that ought to do that seed starting mix will absorb all that moisture and it will work its way into this growing medium I'm going to place it into a bag before I get my wife's countertop here all messed up into a bag just like that and what this bag will do is serve as a humidity dome we'll keep the moisture in here and um, help this not to dry out that was the problem with my first attempt at a single seed challenge is the soil dried out uh, too quickly and that seed failed to germinate so let's take this up and put it next to the other under the grow light this one will join my other single seed challenge right here under the grow light it's about 80 degrees under here I'm not using my heat mat currently but uh, 80 degrees that ought to get these peppers up there we go I really appreciate all the uh, folks that are involved in the single seed challenge this year um, I've watched many of your videos and really enjoyed them and I encourage you to try it if you haven't already you can grow a single seed, appreciate that plant as it grows up, and nurture it, and share it with the gardening community. Um, I really encourage you that if you don't have a YouTube channel, and you're doing this on Instagram, for example, a lot of people doing it on Instagram, um, try a YouTube channel. It's not so hard. Get your phone. I use my phone as my primary camera for the majority of my YouTube career so far, and every now and then I still use my phone. Uh, you can use your phone. You don't, you don't really have to edit so much. Um, 
but you can download free editors and uh, cut out all the unnecessary stuff and learn how to do some videos. It's not that hard. And a YouTube channel, it's real rewarding that first time you get a comment. Uh, when you pick up about you know 20 or 30 subscribers, all of a sudden you've got people interested in what you're doing. And there are a lot of very high quality YouTube channels out there. Maybe they're not polished. Maybe they don't have great production value yet. Maybe they're still learning on the video side, but they have a lot of good knowledge and information to share. And I've been following a lot of YouTube channels, a lot of gardening channels that are small, that have just begun, or you know maybe they've got 100 or 200 or 300 subscribers. And uh, man, I find them to be fascinating. So if you're questioning whether or not you should do the, the single seed challenge just because you don't have a YouTube channel, if you have a YouTube account, you have a channel. Uh, you just need to go up and uh, click on your uh, YouTube. I forget what it's called, but you click on your icon and the little menu falls down and you can see that there's a place where you can upload videos. Uh, I think it's called YouTube Studio. And wow, you can open up a whole new world of gardening and um, enjoying and sharing your garden with the YouTube channel. It's not that hard. I encourage you to do so. And who knows, maybe your channel will uh, really catch people's attention. Maybe your quality content will uh, be able to get monetized someday and you'll have a second stream of income. I'll also give you a Phoebe update. My dog, if you follow my channel, you know my dog. Yeah, she is the mascot of this channel. This is one of the first videos that I have made that I can remember in a very long time where Phoebe's not out here wandering around, uh, getting in the way, jumping at the water hose, or being petted by me. This is one of the first videos where Phoebe is not here. She had surgery today and the doctor called me and said the surgery went well. Her ACL has been uh, repaired and now she'll be in recovery mode. She'll be staying overnight with the surgeon and uh, at the vet and I'll go pick her up tomorrow and I'll give you guys an update in the next video. As she recovers, we'll keep uh, giving you guys some updates. I know so many of you have been so generous with uh, your comments, how much you love Phoebe, and some of you come to my channel just to see my dog, but uh, you were also so generous in the GoFundMe uh, campaign that I had, and I appreciate that. I want you to know that uh, that, uh, that fund, that those money, that those funds have been well uh, well received. We're so grateful and uh, well Phoebe was able to get the care that she needed. So we have taken care of that and now we're on to recovery mode and hopefully before too long she'll be out here running around again and uh, making a star of herself on my YouTube channel. John at Will It Grow also has another challenge. He's got the Mammoth Sunflower Challenge and right here where I used to have a bunch of compost currently my compost is right here I'm gonna grow sunflowers I'm gonna grow it in that rich composty soil right there you can join the mammoth sunflower challenge and uh, see if you can grow a taller sunflower than anybody else that's the that's the trick grow a tall sunflower at the height of its growth at the end of the season measure it and see how yours stacks up so we're gonna grow some Hopefully they'll get way up there. And here's the beauty of it. John will give you free seeds. So go over to Will It Grow and check out his sunflower video. I'll link it right up there and see if you want to participate. Well, follow us on Facebook if you want to. Uh, like us on Instagram. We share photos of the garden that we don't necessarily share here on the channel. And uh, yeah, hope you have happy gardening. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.